Hello, welcome, 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 welcome to another stream. Uh, today is Wednesday, and that means today, according to the schedule, we are programming in C++, but not the game development, just in C++. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, Mr. Botka, John. I could do uh, pocket size wildfire Lindro Bra Braga. I hope I pronounced your nickname correctly. Uh, Awe Man, uh, Serimon, Ivan Hall, Luke Gorilla. I could do drinks. Uh, hello, hello. I hope I didn't miss anyone. Ser serious Sergio. Uh, Chieto. I hope I pronounced your nickname correctly. Welcome, welcome, welcome. MS Basics, welcome. So, today, I'm already, uh, you already. Uh, called the command today. Today we're programming um, our project, which is text to video renderer, right? And it's written in C and C++. So today we're going to simply continue developing that thing. So yeah, let's take a look at this project. It's actually kind of interesting project. So I usually do a demo of the project we're developing every stream. And uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, it's our project, sure, buddy, sure. So let me check out the master and uh, let's fetch. Oh my god, 6,000 times! Shit, yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a very old command, I gotta tell you. It's a very old command. Um, it's been here since the beginning of the bot, I suppose. I think, yeah. So do we have any branches that I want to remove? So I really want to remove that one, one, two, three. And let's rebuild everything. Uh, maybe not everything, only debug version because you know, release, uh, release version takes too much time to build. Uh, Nafli, hello Nafli, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, uh, oh, that is very interesting. I think I fixed that uh, in the latest aids. So maybe we can uh, update our aids. By the way, for those who doesn't know, aids is my replacement for a standard library of C++. So it's a replacement for STD. So you can check it out here. It's open source, available for everyone. So essentially, uh, you have, imagine that you have a, tech, uh, um, a chat log, right? In a text file. And this is a chat log of uh, Twitch, for example, or it could be Discord or something else, doesn't really matter. So the um, application is rather, uh, platform agnostic and uh, what we're gonna do here is uh, we want to turn it into a video right we're gonna turn it into a video and this is exactly what we're gonna do I'm gonna do make render and it will start rendering that uh, that chat log and well that is interesting assertion has okay nice nice demo effect thank you very much all right, Th that never happened before, but apparently, yeah. Uh, I wonder what happened exactly. Let me let me try something. So maybe I'm I'm gonna actually clean FDX every cleaning FDX everything is actually quite dangerous. I think it might have something to do with the emotes, and uh, let me try to remove emotes and mapping, right? And let me rebuild emote downloader emote downloader and run that emote downloader basically refresh the emotes and stuff like that uh feng chi hello hello feng chi welcome welcome to the stream and uh, yeah we have to provide uh the channel name and what's the channel id of Todding channel uh hello and let me just quickly copy paste my own channel id so i can copy paste it here this is not what i wanted to copy paste this is really weird um um, Chat Arena doesn't really work well with Unix clipboards, I gotta tell you, it doesn't really work well, so this is what I wanted to have here. So, and let's go, and that will try to download all of the emotes, uh, PTTV, FFZ, and the, you know, Twitch channel emotes, um, and also refresh uh, the mappings. So mappings should not contain any additional information, and now we should be able to try to render everything. Uh, hopefully that will work. That does in fact work, okay, so the problem was probably, uh, so maybe the emote cache was in inconsistent state because we were experimenting with it. But yeah, so essentially we had this chat log and we turned it into a video. And the video looks like this. 
uh, so yeah, as you can see, it renders all of the messages, it renders all of the emotes, not all of them. Uh, so these are supposed to be like uh, emojis, Unicode emojis, but FFZ, BTTV and Twitch emotes are rendered more or less successfully. So, and this is a video that you can uh, add to your VOD in post-production after the stream has finished. So the only thing you need is a chat log and all of the messages are going to be syn synchronized to their um, timestamps. So that's pretty much the idea uh, of the project. And uh, it's pretty much feature complete in some sense. Uh, we only need to, you know, polish it up. Um, we need to only polish it up and maybe fix some bugs and whatnot. And I think, yeah, I think the project will be ready for alpha, maybe for alpha release. We'll see. We also need to, uh, to write a lot of documentation for this thing. Um, work for effect is is that like a German word for like a demo effect or something? Hmm. Oh, documentation. The fuck? Ah, well, I mean, who who writes the documentation in 2020? Am I right? Uh, so. Mm, let's take a look at what uh, kind of issues do we have. Uh, what can we take there and whatnot? I think the music is a little bit too loud. Uh, so I'm gonna just bring it down a little bit. Something that works until you show it to people is a uh, word for effect. Effect of that. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. <laughs> um, so wait, there is a word for that? Well, I mean, as far as I know, in German language, there is a word for everything, like a single word for everything, for any life situation. It's a, it's a very, it's a very rich language. So, uh, yeah, let me take a look. Mm, Jian, welcome, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Really glad to see you. How are you doing? Oh, you finished your US exam. It went well. Nice. Congratulations. This is actually pretty cool. Yeah. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Hamikovi, welcome, welcome to the stream as well. Uh, why am I looking at something? I don't want to develop something, I want to develop Vodus. I want to develop Vodus. Alright. Uh, so the thing is... Yeah, emote cache populate from file should crash if we don't have enough emote capacity. So this is something that I would like to address. So I'm using a very dumb um, hash table. <laughs> So yeah, I'm using a very damn hash table to, uh, for emote cache and I'm really embarrassed by it. So the emote cache basically implements the hash table like from scratch. So we have a structure emote cache and within that structure we straight up have, um, you know, these are the essentially buckets of the, uh, of the hash map. And when you're trying to access uh, one of the emotes, right, when you're trying to access one of the emotes, the first thing we do, we take the name of the emote, we um, uh, calculate its hash based on DJB2, a hashing a function, and then uh, try to search it, right? So we're using open hashing and so on and so forth. So, and also this particular thing doesn't even resize, the amount of buckets is fixed, so it doesn't reallocate anything and whatnot. So it's, it's kind of like a hack that I put together. I could have just used std hash map, but we don't use a standard library because we use aids, a replacement for standard library. And you know what? I think the time has come to add a hash table to aids. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I was talking about. So the time has fucking come, mate. Time has... Jesus fucking Christ, nothing. Uh, all right. So, um... All right. So let's actually go to AIDS and uh, implement it. All right. So I'm going to change... Uh, change the title. Uh, I'm gonna call it hash table in C++, you know, very simple, very simple title, but at the same time, very catchy one, because everyone is interested in how can you even implement a hash table in C++. Right. Because this is like a very common uh, coding interview question, right? So in many coding interviews, uh, like uh, people are asked, 
please implement the hashing table because uh, implementing a hashing table is supposedly demonstrates a lot of skills that you're supposed to have as a software engineer so um, i can implement it in one line i mean <laughs> um you can you can call just a regular array a hash table with perfect hashing um oh i see what you okay cool uh, you're going to use mesh shaders uh, to implement hash table. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be called mesh table. Uh, 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 hello, old man. Welcome to the stream. Uh, mesh tables. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, so, hash shaders. Hmm. That's very interesting. Hash shaders. Alrighty, so let's actually fetch uh, the latest changes for the eights. I have no idea what the fuck we have here. So we have some strange... What? Good error message for failed UTF-8 decoder. Okay. Mm, any hashers in the chat? Any hashers in the chat? Alright, so apparently we do have new changes for, for AIDS. And it's a 26 release. And apparently I removed shit ton of code. I don't know when I did that. Cause the white bear, welcome, welcome to the stream. Hello, Pinnik Wonigunu Wonder. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome. I, I, I think I pronounced your nickname correctly. I think I'm pretty sure I did. So um yeah. Let's try to build this entire thing. I'm not sure if I can build it, but I can try to run the tests. Yeah, so the tests are passing. Open addressing or chaining for your epic hash table. Uh, open addressing. So because I already use that in Votus. Do I remember correctly that open addressing is basically if you have a collision, so you take the next one, right? This is the open addressing. Yeah. Yes, and of welcome, welcome to the stream. And chaining is basically each bucket is uh, linked list for each bucket. Yeah, it's a linked list. I do remember, I do remember from my university course on algorithms. As a matter of fact, I think I learned about hash tables before university in a school. So we had a pretty cool informatics teacher who actually explained to us shit ton of different uh, data structures and algorithms. He explained us graphs, um, linked lists, um, and uh, hash tables and stuff like that. So he explained a shit ton of uh, like uh, algorithms and data structures. And so when I went to university, I pretty much knew half of them, <laughs> so, <laughs> which was kind of cool. So it was actually pretty poc uh, poc school. Yeah, mm, that's uh, with linear probing to be correct. Oh, you can also have a like, quadratic probing. So you can step like one step, maybe then quadratic steps and so on and so forth. Yeah, yeah I do, do remember that. Even with open addressing, you can have different ways of, you know, uh, resolving stuff. Um, all right, so let's go. Uh, we're going to go to AIDS and uh, the time has come to introduce uh, a hashing table. <laughs> hashing table so yeah <laughs> not everybody knows that but yeah we have two we have two types hex and the hex so i think i already did that joke before but i want to kind of do it one more time so because not everybody saw that on the twitch channel so yeah let me show you let me show you so I'm going to have like a separate main. So this is going to be the previous main and this is going to be a separate main. So in AIDS, if you want to print something, you use something called println and you... Um, it's a good joke. Thanks for repeating it. You're welcome, but not everybody heard it. All right. Uh, all right. So <clears throat> number is and uh, you can just do it like that. So essentially it's absolutely type safe, right? It's absolutely type safe and it works with majority of the types and for with the types it doesn't work, uh, you can implement a special printer. So it works uh, almost like right len in Pascal, right? I, I know that Pascal sometimes induces, induces PTSD on some people, but uh, yeah, I, I kind of like Pascal. I'm really sorry about it. I'm really sorry for liking Pascal. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna make this thing and if you uh, print it, it says number is 69. So what if you wanna print that number in a hexadecimal? 
Uh, right, so we have a special type for that. So it's called hex. You have to wrap it like that. Uh, unfortunately, you have to provide the type, but I'm thinking of how you can get rid of that. And essentially, it w it doesn't really convert it to hexadecimal. It makes a new type when that is when printed, uh, prints hexadecimal, right? So you can take a look at that. Uh, it, does, it didn't really work well because the, in hexadecimal 69 is 45, it looks like decimal. So maybe we could come up with slightly different number. Uh, so for, how about the, yeah, yeah, there we go. So you can see that number is 1A4. But the question is, what if you want to print the number in all caps? Right. So this particular thing um, is written in uh, small letters, but what you want capital letters. Well, for capital letters, we have a separate type uh, that is called hex and it will print you in capital letters. So essentially, if you want capital letters, you have to scream hex instead of saying it normally. So the two separate types, hex and hex. So yeah, that's how it works. And this is a part of the standard library, yes. <laughs> so uh, by the way, if you make a constructor for hex, uh, default deduction guide will let you omit the... Uh, maybe, maybe we should do that. Uh, yeah, but I just wanted to, to show that. I just wanted to show that. It's a good joke, uh, that's why I repeated it twice. Um, cool. <clears throat> uh, so, um, yeah, but, but uh, it's kind of outside of, of the scope of, of what we're doing, but I'm gonna keep that in mind. Thank you, thank you so much. So we need to introduce the hash table. Uh, usually I create like sort of sections in aids. Right, and this is where we're gonna have a hash. Is it gonna be hash set? It depends on what we want. Uh, maybe it's gonna be just hash map, right? So we're gonna call it hash map. Um, <clears throat> so uh, struct a hash map, and of course it's gonna be templated. Right, it's gonna be templated. Uh, time, uh, see, hash table. Nah, but it's a hash map, is it not? I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. What's the difference between table and map? Uh, I don't know, usually none. <laughs> People use this thing interchangeably. Um, if it's a map, don't you need a key and value values? You're right, we need a key and value values. Um, key, value. Um, one private member, unordered map. Well, we're not using uh, a standard library, so we'll have to implement it ourselves. Okay, so um, let me think. How can I call it? Um, maybe I'm gonna call it a cell, or is it properly, would be, would be appropriate to call it a bucket, right? Which actually contains key and a value. Um, yeah, it should contain key and value so i think it should be okay i think it should be okay um all right and then uh we're gonna have array of these buckets right so and i think it's gonna be a, a pointer because the hash map is supposed to be growing right it's supposed to be growing uh le bucket <laughs> yes it's a uh, uh, um I don't know why it cracks me out every time, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, it's, it's gonna be just buckets. Uh, it's gonna be just buckets. Cool. And we need to keep track of the capacity. Uh, keep track of the capacity. Uh, and how many elements we already have there, right? We keep track of the size and the capacity. And we also have to keep in mind that this entire thing zero initialized has to be a valid hash map right it has to be a valid hash map so this is pretty much the uh, like a data definition of this thing uh but what's funny is that we're going to implement hash set we're going to implement a hash set similarly to how it's implemented in uh, rust so it's going to be hash set uh with hash map inside <laughs> So the key is going to be, yeah, 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 something like that type name, key. Uh, and this is going to be a key, but unfortunately we don't really have a void type. Uh, but I can try to do 
like void here but this is gonna be weird because then you cannot have a void field here so that means we need to have a specialization for value being void um struct unit i think this is not particularly a c plus place uh, way a c plus plus way of doing it i think this c plus plus way of doing that is to have a specialization right where you have like a a thing like this key void and where a bucket doesn't have a value uh yeah, yeah, yeah so i can specialize the bucket but i mean bucket is part of the hash map uh, so yeah but i mean yeah if we move bucket outside of the hash map right and make it a template as well then i can specialize it and whatnot um Mm -mm -mm. But I don't think uh, I don't think it's that important right now. I don't think it's that important because we don't even have a working hash map yet, right? So let's actually implement something, uh, something that is actually working. Uh, okay. So and um, <clears throat> interestingly enough, um, we need things like insert, right? We need to be able to insert a new key. Uh, and also a new value, right? Like this. Um, we want to insert and we also want to get, right? So when you get a thing by key, it will return you maybe value like this. There we go. So it will return you maybe value, but maybe it also should return Maybe it should return like a pointer to that value, so you can modify it if you want to. Hmm, sounds like a cool idea, yeah. I think this is how it's implemented in Rust as well. When you get it, you actually get a reference to that value. Do you not? I, I think you do. Let's actually check it out. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm developing AIDS, uh, you know, according... The AIDS is inspired by Rust. Get and get mute. Uh, well... What's funny is that in C++ you don't need this kind of shit because C++ has function overloading. How about that? Hmm? Can your Rust do that? Can your Rust do that? I mean, in Rust it's a little bit better because you make a conscious decision whether it's going to be mutable or not, but I mean, whatever. Uh, you can't overload and reach... Ah, God damn it. You're right. I'm, I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, of course. I mean, it's not like a, it's not like it's not like I have favorites between Rust and C++. Like they're just languages, just regular languages. You can overload on const qualifiers. Oh yes. Uh, otherwise, a lot of things will, won't work in C++. Yeah, that make that makes sense. So uh, B tree map. If I take a look at B tree map. So I just want you to see what it takes, get, right? So get, and it returns a, refer a reference. So we're gonna do a similar thing here. Alrighty. Um, <clears throat> Developing ends with inspiration from Rust. <laughs> Very funny, look, Gorilla. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, so I suppose these are the only uh, operations we need for now. Um, and that's the only things we'll have to implement here. Mm. So for now, this is going to be like that. It will return nothing. <clears throat> and we need uh, to bring a hash function uh, to the repo as well. So I'm going to actually still db dgb dgb Two? Is that how it's called? I think this is how it's called. Mm, I, I forgot how it's called. I forgot how it is called. Mm, uh, emote, emotes. There we go. So yeah, DJB two, DJB two. Okay. So I might as well actually just steal it from like like from here, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, but what's funny is that, uh, what's funny is that we have implementation all only for string view, right? So maybe we'll have to, like, 
Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's just keep it like that, and then I'll see how we can improve it. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. <clears throat> so basically, we can dispatch this on uh, overloading, right? So for other things, you will just have to overload this value somehow, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Woodness. Hello, Woodness. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, all right. How do we know that a bucket, a particular bucket is already taken? Um, uh, how do we know uh, if a particular bucket is already taken? We can try to put like a boolean here. Uh, taken. Or maybe we can just have a maybe value. Which could be better, because maybe it's like a structure that already have an indication that it's already taken or not, right? So, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be actually pretty cool, so that means we'll have to do something like buckets. Uh, hash, uh, value, has value. Yeah, 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 value has value. <laughs> this is how we're gonna check whether uh, we already have something there, right? This is how we're gonna check. But uh, first of all, We'll need to calculate the hash, uh, right? So it's going to be outer hash, and we're going to use the GB2 on the key. There we go. Um, and then we'll have to mod it on the capacity, right? We'll have to mod it on the capacity. Uh, but what's funny is that this is not enough. This is not enough. We need to check if size is if a capacity is power 2, you can use hash capacity of mod, uh, yeah. Um, so if size is greater or equal than capacity, so we need to extend the capacity, right? So we'll need to extend the capacity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's introduce uh, a new function, extend capacity, extend capacity. Uh, and this is going to be something, should be probably private, but I mean, it does not necessarily have to be private, right? It does not necessarily have to be private. Uh, is the hash just used to determine the index of the entry in the bucket? Yes! Yes! People are too scared of hash tables, right? People think that hash table is this mystery data structure, like it's so difficult to... No! It is very fucking dumb. So you have an array, right? And you have a, some data structure. You, you just hash it, you just sum up all the fields and stuff like that, just jumble it around and you get an index and you put that thing in the index of that array. It's so fucking dumb. So the only difficult part is actually figuring out like what kind of fu uh, hash function is gonna be best for for your application, right? So what kind of like addressing is gonna be uh, best for your application and stuff like that so but the, the mechanics of hash table is actually very fucking dumb um, so <clears throat> anyways so extend capacity so what's funny is that as already said mem set hash map is actually a valid map right it is a valid map so that means the buckets can be null and we need to take that into account as well so if buckets is null right um, we'll have to do initial allocation, right? We'll have to do an initial allocation. Mm. Mm. Just use random, it's very reliable. Yes, it is very reliable. So, and what's funny is that we also can make some sort of assertion because if back it's null, um, maybe it's not that important actually. Maybe it's not that important. We can just set initial capacity. So, um, so let's let's actually have this uh, as a constant. Uh, hash map initial uh, capacity. So what's going to be the initial capacity? What do you guys think? 256 should be enough, right? 256 uh, buckets should be enough for everyone. Mm, imagine using null instead of no pointer. Yeah, sometimes I like use null because these are reflexes. So I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, man. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. 
Um, 256 bucks, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Usually just require implement a hash ball. Yeah, you can do that, but I was thinking uh, about something different. I was thinking about um, overloading. So basically compile time dispatching based on overloaded functions, similar to how we implement the printer, right? So if you want to uh, make something printable, you implement print, print one for that, right? So something like this, like your type, uh, your type, and print ln automatically picks it up because it dispatches based on overloaded print one. So maybe we can have something similar like this, so this is going to be hash. And if you want to make your uh, type hashable, you just implement this overloaded function and it will also pick it up similarly to how uh, to print LM. So you don't need to even implement interfaces, you just implement a single function. So this is what I was thinking about. Hash one, uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, by the way, inline it, don't violate ODR. Uh, I don't even know what is ODR, but uh, it's yet another C++ abbreviation. One definition rule. Mm -hmm. It says the object uh, and non-inline functions cannot have more than one definition in the entire program, and template uh, cannot have more than one definition by translation unit. Well, yeah, but how do I violate that? Uh... Oh, this is a completely separate problem. Okay, okay, uh, Jiang, this is a completely separate problem. Um... <laughs> uh, so, first of all, hash, as far as you can tell, is under namespace, right? And second of all, I wanted to introduce uh, a similar mechanism to STB, right? Uh... Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing it right now. I'm not doing it right now, but I do have plans for it. And this is outside of the scope of what I'm doing right now. Yes, I do understand what you're talking about, uh, but we're going to fix that. Like we're going to fix this as a class of problems, not that specific problem as the whole class by introducing STB implementation thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't even worry about it. So I'm, uh, let's continue. Um, <clears throat> So right now we need to have a working hash table, right? So let's do buckets and uh, what should we use uh, today? Should we use malloc or should we use new? Mm, malloc is e easy to, easier to reallocate, to be fair. It's just easy to reallocate because you can just do realloc uh, and it's just <laughs> a map, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're gonna use malloc this time. Buckets, malloc, maybe calloc would be better, I do agree with that, because we're allocating an array, uh, and uh, also calloc zero initializes everything. So we wanna allocate here, we wanna allocate 256 uh, <clears throat> buckets, and the size of each bucket is, uh, yeah, can it just size of bucket? I think I, I can do a size of bucket. Uh, imagine not passing null to realloc. We're gonna get into that, okay? So I, I like I cannot think ahead. Like <clears throat> I have two cases when buckets are null and buckets not null. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna get into into the code that just uses one single realloc. Uh, my brain just incapable to come to, to come up with that solution. Hello, Twistup. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so. Um, yeah, it is zero initialized and everything is ready. And I think we need to set the capacity to uh, hash map initial capacity and the size is going to be equal to zero. So the only indication that this is an empty hash map is going to be a uh, null pointer. Okay, there we go. Uh, if it's not null pointer, what do we do? Uh, we need to come up with a new capacity, right? Mm -hmm. mm. So let's do something like this. It's going to be size of new capacity, right? Capacity is going to be just multiplied by two, All right? It's going to be multiplied by two and um, we'll need to allocate new buckets. So it's going to be uh, new 
buckets and i don't think oh okay and this this time we're not gonna even use any reallocation yes we're not gonna even use re any reallocation because we need to uh we'll need to have two separate uh, regions of memory and then we're gonna copy them yeah 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 so this one is actually very interesting mm. okay i have a couple of ideas here that's that's very cool mm. so you know how we're gonna fucking do that you know how we're gonna fucking do that uh we're gonna create a new hash map within this function it's gonna be temporary hash map uh and this is gonna work because we're programming in a c style uh new hash map right and this one is gonna be essentially so we have buckets and we allocate new buckets here uh these are new buckets uh, and their capacity is actually the capacity uh, multiplied by two and uh, their initial capacity yeah, yeah, yeah so it's also multiplied by two but their size is going to be zero and what we're going to do now <laughs> this is going to be super cool we are iterating through all of our buckets iterating through all of our buckets uh, actually capacity right right and if buckets buckets i um what is that value has value we are taking new hash map taking new hash map uh and inserting that shit there right so this is going to be key and this is going to be um value uh, buckets i value there we go and after that we can quite easily say buckets are equal new hash map buckets um capacity uh is equal new hash map capacity and size is equal new hash map capacity and we can forget about it uh but uh we'll have to remove the previous buckets first yeah we'll have to free those buckets so we see the advantage of the, these structures being eth like ephemeral structures it's like makes it so easy to implement something like that um yeah so basically it's like using move semantic in c right it's like yeah but i wonder if we can I wonder if you can do something like this new hash map. Is that a thing that will work in C++? Hello, this and all. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, everyone who just joined. Can you do something like that? Is that like a valid? Yes, you can. And it basically it will copy each individual field there. Okay, so that means maybe I can just do that then. So, yeah, I really like this uh wait a second ah shit i cannot close my bottle um okay so we're gonna um, equal zero police fix yeah sure um okay so since we don't really need reallocation maybe we're gonna turn it into uh like um new in delete uh we're playing around with buckets today yeah you know kicking them and stuff uh so bucket so let's actually do something like this then because it's more c plus plus right it's an idiomatic c plus plus and uh in here i can do a new bucket uh capacity two and let's just remove that there we go Mm, and here I can do delete. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, all right, sh should work now. So, and also now we just need to implement insert. So, if uh, we don't have enough, enough capacity, uh, we have to extend them. Hmm. To be fair, because we use this an indica as indication to extend capacity, but null pointer as indication of initial initialization, uh, of, of the first initialization, of, of initialization, yeah. <laughs> so initial initialization is kind of redundant. We need to check that capacity is equal to zero. 
and uh, size is equal to zero. So these uh, these are like very important invariants in this uh, in this particular situation. Um, I think they are. Mm. Mm -hmm, cool. So let's not implement anything here. Um, I just want to. I just want to see if this compiles, right? Maybe we're gonna even implement some tests for all of that. Yeah, let's implement some tests. Uh, so it's gonna be aids. Uh, so here we have tests. Right now we have only UTF-8 encoding and decoding tests. So uh, I'm gonna introduce hash map test. So it's gonna be CPP, and it's going to include. Uh, aids.hpp and of course uh, it's going to be using namespace um, aids instead of uh, C++ right so and how do you create a hash map uh, well you just do it pretty in a pretty straightforward manner um, oh yeah we only have a hash for string view so string view uh, and what's going to be the value let's say it's going to be int right so uh, let's call it word frequency, right? This is going to be word frequency and it's going to be an empty hash map. So uh, do we want to clean it afterwards? We could do something like defer uh, delete word frequency buckets, but I don't think it's a good way of doing that. Uh, I kind of like want to adapt the following uh, paradigm in aids, like in usual modern C++, you have constructors and destructors, right? You have constructors and destructors, like this, right? But uh, I want to adapt a different uh, paradigm, right? You have just a structure, you can construct it however you want. Uh, well, maybe you're going to have uh, separate functions to construct it, make bar, right? And uh, I want to have a special function like destroy uh, that destroys uh, this um, this struct. And what's interesting is that I want the destroy to be similar to print one, similar to print uh, one and hash and hash. So essentially, it's going to be overloaded function. And if you want to uh, destroy a structure, you will have to overload this function. So it's kind of similar to this. And essentially, when you create like a new thing through, uh, let's say, make bar, right? Then you can decide whether you want to destroy it at the end of the scope uh, or not destroy at the end of the scope. Because maybe you want, you don't really care. Maybe you want to leave it forever until the end of the program. So yeah, basically you can always choose whether you want to destroy it at the end of the scope or don't want to destroy it at the end of the scope. So something like that. And I want to have like a separate abstraction over destroying the objects because destroying different objects can be tricky uh, because they may allocate memory different ways. Maybe you have to do some special things and stuff like that. That's why, uh, yeah, I disposable. Well, I mean, again, in this library, we don't use interfaces for this kind of things. We use overloaded functions, right? If you want to print something, you don't implement printable interface. You implement just print one function. Uh, if you want something hashable, you don't implement hashable interface. You just implement hash function. And if you want something destroyable, you implement destroy. So we keep it as simple as possible. So I kind of want to adapt a similar paradigm here. And maybe that's exactly what I'm going to do. Maybe that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, and uh, what that means is going to be destroy, uh, actually defer, destroy uh, word frequency. Right. So maybe I want to destroy it at the end of the scope. But sometimes you don't want to, because if the object leaves until the end of the uh, program, the operating system is going to deallocate all of your memory anyway. So there's no point in worrying about this kind of stuff. Right. So anyway, uh, let's iterate. Maybe we're going to have like a, a bunch of like words or maybe uh, we need some sort of a text. Let's actually um, introduce some sort of a text. String view text. Um, the, uh, how, how is this test text called uh, that starts with L? I can never remember its name, but I, the only thing I remember that it starts with L. <laughs> uh, Laura, yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, I have no idea why the name doesn't stick in my brain. Like, it just doesn't. Like, I can never remember it. Mm. Mm. 
Hey, it's Sodian. According to your uh, facts, you program prostitution for a living. Could you elaborate that? No. Thank you for your question. Okay, so let's actually put this thing here. <clears throat> uh, and this thing has to be SV. So let's write a program that iterates the words. Right, let's uh, write a program that iterates the words. Uh, while text... Um, <laughs> Please elaborate on your facts. Uh, no, I'm not gonna elaborate on that. So, well, text is not that, and I don't remember, do we have like a chop word? Yeah, we do have chop word, nice, 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 nice. So, uh, I can do something like word, uh, text, chop word, trim, and then I can try to print that. Print the line STDO out word. All right, so, um, who the fuck uses facts in 2020? Uh, I'm spitting out facts from time to time, so does it count? Uh, all right. So, and this is the first one, this is the next one, and here, let's just do hash map test. There we go. So now we have everything ready to just try to run this test. And it didn't uh, even compile, because something weird is going on. Uh, anything else? Oh, we don't have a destroy, right, we don't have a destroy. Uh, so let's introduce destroy, it's gonna be just destroy. Uh, and I suppose it has to be a templated destroy, to be fair. So it's gonna be key uh, name value, because hash map, uh, hash map. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to implement a hash map. Have you heard about hash map HRI one two uh, one two four? So yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to implement here. It's actually kind of cool, not gonna lie. Uh, so I'm gonna just go ahead and check if we have buckets, right? If we uh, do have buckets, we're gonna straight up just you know delete them like this. There we go. That's how we do that. Isn't it like a dict in Py? Yes, it is. But unfortunately, we're not programming in Python. Or maybe fortunately, depends on how you look at it. It depends on how we look at it. All right. So, uh, and undefined operator delete. Oh, yeah. I've only seen facts and movies say. Uh, undefined reference to delete. Should have used malloc, yeah, exactly. Because apparently you need C++ standard library to use this kind of features. Like, I was actually super surprised to learn about that. Uh, and then I forgot about it. Yeah, then I forgot about it. Because we're compiling in a very interesting manner. We're compiling without standard libraries and we're linking only with libc. So that's how we do that. So the idea of AIDS is that it should work without C++ standard library, but only with C. And this is sort of like a confirmation of that. So that means we don't have uh, new and delete and stuff like that. We just use, uh, we just have to use calloc, malloc and whatnot. Okay, so it's nice to be, to re to be reminded about that. So uh, what was the calloc? Calloc, there we go. Calloc, uh, the amount of these things is that. So let's actually bring everything back. It's gonna be size of. So yeah, <clears throat> and this one is going to be pretty much similar, right? Uh, are you trying to implement something uh, include map library? Yeah, roughly speaking, yeah, but with a slightly different interface. Um, to be fair, map is using a uh, black red tree or red black trees right so it's not a hash table so i would say i'm implementing something closer to an ordered map which is hash map um yeah okay and here we'll have to do like a free and there's another delete here we'll also have to do free mm, okay so as you can see Everything's compiling and we have our code that splits the text into the words, right? It just splits the text into the words. 
And uh, the next thing we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna try to put each individual each individual word into into the hash table. How we're gonna do that? So first we're gonna try to get that word uh, like this. So it's a word. Uh, it's a single word. And uh, we're gonna have a bucket. We don't really have a bucket here, but. We should have we should get a frequency right we should get the frequency but this thing can be empty because if you take a look uh, at this thing mm, 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 all right uh, I started the AIDS repo can I have a free sub uh, I don't think so um, mm, why, why am I the only one here? This is because I banned everyone. So, <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Dead chat. Lebakote. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. So, get, as you can see, returns you maybe. So, that means it can be missing. So, we have to check if we have a value. Has value. Right. If it has a value, what do we do? We take frac unwrap, and then we can dereference it and incre increment by one. It's it's very similar to how uh, like a hash map is implemented in Rust, right? Uh, otherwise, otherwise we're gonna just do uh, frac uh, word frequency insert. Oh shit! Insert uh, word one like this. Mm, yep, so that should work. Uh, well, that should compile, but it's not gonna work because we have not implemented neither get nor in insert. Right, we haven't implemented neither get nor insert. Now we need to be able to iterate through this entire thing. Um, it really looks rustish, yeah. So, to be fair, a lot of things in AIDS are inspired rather by Haskell than Rust, but at the same time, a lot of things in Rust are also inspired by Haskell, so that's why a lot of these things look uh, rustish to people who never programmed in Haskell, but programmed in Rust. So, yeah. Anyways. Uh, so after that, I think I want to just iterate through uh, all of the buckets in the hash map. All right, so it's going to be word uh, frequency. Uh, we're going to take a capacity, plus plus i. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to do the following thing. If uh, word frequency buckets, buckets, uh, le bucket uh, has a value, if it has a value, uh, then we're going to try to print it. Simple as that. STD out. So uh, let me take this thing. Uh, key. Value. I'd like to separate this kind of stuff a little bit. So, yeah, boy. yeah there we go. That should be okay. So, um, let's do print ln uh, frequency word uh, word frequency table. Right. So here it is. And if I try to run it right now, it's not going to even compile because I didn't provide std out. Uh, std out. Is it going to compile now? Okay. Um, I suppose this is how we got to do that. Yeah, there we go. So as, as you can see right now, word frequency table is empty because this is because we didn't even implement insert or anything like that, right? There is no insert there. So uh, let's go ahead and implement the insert and see how it's going to work. Mm -hmm. So, first thing we have to do, we have to take uh, hash of key, hash of key. So, and again, we have overloaded function called hash, uh, and here it is. And as far as I know, we can do um, capacity. And there was a suggestion by func chi to speed it up, if it's a... Uh, if it's a square, if it's actually square, I forgot what exactly you suggest. 
I'm sorry. This is already the second time. Okay, if your capacity is power 2, you can use hash capacity minus 1. Send of mod uh, for some extra speed. Okay, this one is interesting. By the way, I'm, and by the way, I'm really sorry, Fangchi, but this is already a second time I did that. <laughs> like, I have no idea what the fuck is going on with my fingers. But, yeah. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. What is that? What is that? Oh, I see. <laughs> so it's a, it's a, it's a different anime. Uh, okay, so um, why will it work? Oh, I know why it will, will it work. Okay, so uh, it will work because if if the capacity is the power of two, it probably has the form one, uh, one zero, zero zero. Blah, 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 blah. You, you get the point, right? So, and if you subtract 1 from this value, you will get 1, 1, 1, 1. And when you do end, it basically cuts uh, everything that is outside of this mask. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Feng Chi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I really apologize that I keep misspelling your nickname. <laughs> ah, I feel so bad, but my... My fingers just keep typing that, I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, but yeah, so what we can do here is a capacity minus one. And is it really power of two? I think it is, because we start with 256 and we, uh, keep multiplying it by two. So it is a power of two. So, all right. So that's, that's quite important. Mm -hmm. so, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. So that actually speeds it up. I'd never thought about it. This is such a cool idea. Thank you. Thank you, Fangchi. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's just use that. Uh, and, so, um, if uh, buckets hash of key, uh, I shall go and make a cup of tea, sodium tea. Well, enjoy your tea then. Okay, Canadian. Content. Right, the value has value right if it doesn't have a value well that means um that means uh we can insert there we can just insert it so this is how we're going to do that it's going to be true the value there we go uh there we go there we go and but i forgot a very important thing by the way if size is greater or equal than capacity we have to extend the capacity right so that's what we have to do we have to extend the capacity mm, an ordered multi-map when well for multi-map you can just use value like put dynamic array as a value or something um so shouldn't be that hard uh-huh uh -huh. so but what's interesting is that we're using open addressing, right? We're using open addressing. That means we have to do the following. Uh, while um, the current bucket has a value, right? While the current bucket has a value, what we have to do, we have to take the hash of the key and increment it, but also wrap around the capacity, right? We also have to wrap around the capacity. Like this, um, yeah. And once it uh, exits, we can finally assign it like this. And it will exit because this piece of code ensures that uh, eventually we'll, we will have uh, a free slot. Eventually we'll have a free bucket. Uh -huh. So yeah, I suppose this is pretty much implementation of insert. Pretty straightforward, not gonna lie. Uh, and let's go and compile that and it doesn't compile nice so conversion to void uh, all right so I have to do something like uh, bucket oh yeah function uh, I'm very very UIFK because uh, we were talking about your suggestions to uh, suggestion to do to use mask like that uh, yeah and thank you thank you so much uh, for for suggesting that uh, yeah, so this is just a packet. 
It was Saturday stream that got cancelled. Yeah, I'm sorry. So Saturday stream is cancelled, but it's moved to Monday. I was just doing some uni stuff on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I finally got uh, to implement uh, to implementing insert, and I remembered your suggestion, and I didn't know that it's, this is actually such a cool idea. So essentially, as we explored before, if the capacity is a power of two, it has like a binary uh, like shape like this, and by subtracting one you essentially turn it into all ones and you just use it as a mask to cut the left part and it acts like a mod so i that, that never happened to, to me that, that you could do that that's actually pretty cool yeah let's see how it works so all right so ha not hash value but has value all right uh excuse me no matching function uh, Something is fucky Oh, I see what's fucky wacky. Of course. Thank you, C++. Very cool. Uh... Uh... If it has a value... Ah, I have to unwrap it as well. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I read it in some blog post years ago and never forgot it because it blew my mind. Yeah, it's actually super cool. Uh, Alright, and that gives us one. Wait, is that a thing in uh, Lorem that each word happens only once? No, it's bullshit. No, 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 I cannot believe that. It, really? Like in this paragraph, like each word happens only once? Uh... In. Oh, okay. So maybe majority of them... Uh... Oh, and I don't even see the word. Oh, shit. Oh, I know what happened. When I insert, I only put a value, but I didn't put the key. Yeah, I also need to put the key, I think. Mm -hmm, so let's put the key. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go in oh shit oh i know what's happening yeah, yeah i know what's happening this happens this happens uh this is normal everything's okay chat everything's okay this happens because we haven't implemented get so this is expected behavior until we implemented get everything's okay so yeah this is what happens when you don't have get um right so you have like repeating entries in the hash table which shouldn't happen but it does happen Right, especially like here. Uh, yeah, so these are separate, separate things. <laughs> um, all right. So maybe insert also have to act like update, if you think about it. Is it like a collision chain thing? Yeah, yeah. So I don't really know. Maybe insert should actually act like update. Let's make it act like update. Um, uh, so while this thing has a value, um, absurd, uh, should check collisions. Okay, I'm gonna put it to do here. Um, hash map insert does not check collisions. And I want to implement get first. Because once get works, the test that we have will work correctly automatically, right? So uh, this particular point does not really affect the correctness of the test. Uh, so that's why I don't really want to focus on, it, uh, focus on it too much right now. All right, so let's do hash of key. We're going to search for it in a very similar manner. So it's going to be key, uh, then capacity. You know what I want to do, actually? Uh, I already drank one liter of black tea today. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Addicted Monk OS. Um, okay, while buckets hash of key um, value. Uh, has a value. And. Bucket key 
not equal to original key, we keep incrementing the hash of key. And then we have to do the following thing. If this thing has a value, we have to return this. Uh, we have to return true, but the pointer to the value. So it has to be like unwrap and return the pointer to it, like this. Otherwise, uh, we should return nothing. I might as well actually do it like this, yeah. I think that's how we can do that, yeah. Uh, okay, so this is called buckets. And this thing is also called buckets. Oh boy, I'm, I'm such a bebegger. Okay, and we have a segmentation fault. Yeah! Cool. I'm really happy about that. All right, let's see where exactly that happened. So uh, I'm gonna do GDB. Uh, maybe I'm gonna actually go to AIDS specifically. Mm, tests. Uh, Hash map test, so it's sec fault. Let's take a look at, uh, at that in GDB. Uh, and key. Oh, I think I know what is going on. I forgot to wrap it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look at that. Like here, I wrap it around, but here I don't wrap it around. Jesus Christ, dude! Come on. Um. So I'm also thinking. Can it stuck in a loop? Can it stack in, uh, get stuck in a loop? If the hash table is completely full. It didn't help. Huh. Hepega programmer. Struck with... Did I miss something? Why do you call me Pepega? Did I miss something obvious? Uh, I feel like maybe I missed something obvious, but I'm not sure what 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 are you talking about? Uh, <clears throat> so hash of key. Like I don't see. Yes, it can loop. Okay. So let, let me actually think. How can we prevent that? We can limit it to a certain amount of iterations, right? We can limit it to the amount of iterations, like of capacity, right? So, and that should be relatively easy to do. Like for size t i, like this, uh, then like this, then plus plus i. Uh, can I do something like this? Yeah, there we go. Uh, and maybe even i less than capacity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. So, and on top of that, we can do something like this. All right, so that ensures that we don't make more than capacity amount of iterations. And apparently, I think insert can also well, it, it cannot loop, by the way, because we always extend it. Because we always extend it. Um... All right, so... Um... I need to make a cup of tea. <laughs> uh, I need to make a cup of tea. So let's make a small break. It's actually a small break and we can continue after the break. So the only thing we need to implement here is get. Insert seems to be working more or less uh, well. Uh, so the only thing I need here is get. Um, so 
keep in mind that I'm trying to implement that uh, from the memory, right? I'm not really looking up too much. Uh, so, two minutes, three minutes. Um, let's make three minutes though. Three minutes uh, break. Uh, and let me resize this stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's make a small break and you guys have fun. Yo, what's up? Welcome back. To back. Uh, so, okay, let's actually start over. Um, <laughs> uh, cool. So, let me see the mechanics of this entire thing. This never can loop. We just find the first bucket that is empty and we just put everything there. So, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Uh, then, uh, we're gonna have hash of key. And uh, again, I'm going to just do hash key. Capacity minus one. All right. Uh, so we can have a bunch of things like that. Uh -huh. So here are the buckets. Here are the buckets. And uh, it has different keys. It has different keys. And some of them can be empty like this so while so we're currently pointing at for example this like we're pointing at this while uh, buckets uh, hash of key so let's actually rename it to H key HK because I couldn't be bothered to type a hash of key uh, too, too often I think it's too long of a name so uh, while this thing uh, has a value right while this thing has a value, so it's filled, um, and, so this is quite important, and uh, buckets, 
buckets key not equal to our original key, that means uh, we had a collision and we have to keep resolving that collision. Cool. That means we have to do HK, uh, HK plus one, but we have to wrap it around. We have to wrap it around the capacity, but wrapping around the capacity is essentially this. So we're going to keep it like that. Right, again, uh, so there could be a situation uh, when this will loop when size is equal to uh, capacity. So in that case, it will just loop forever. And because of that, uh, we want to limit the amount of times you, you're going to loop. So we're going to do something like size uh, zero. You're only going to loop a uh, certain amount of times. So it's going to be i less than capacity. So you're going to uh, make one iteration. And if after one iteration you didn't find anything, well, sorry. Um, so after we stopped, when we should return something? We should return something when uh, buckets hk value has a value and uh, the key is equal to the original key. Then we have to return this entire thing. So what should we return? We should return. Uh, well, you unwrap, but we have to return the pointer, right? We have to return the pointer to this entire thing. Uh, otherwise, we should return nothing. There we go. I think that should be correct implementation. I think I took everything into account. I think I did. Not 100% sure. Um, that should be it. So if it also sec false, I don't really know why. So I think my uh, my tea is ready. I'm going to just go quickly brew that. So what do you guys think? Is that the correct implementation? Did I make any mistakes here? Can anyone spot any problems? Um, uh, 25 HK. Well, it's, it's a problem that can be fixed by the compiler. It doesn't matter. So any actual problems, like semantical problems, this is a compiler problem. I don't consider that a problem. Uh, yeah, so no. Uh, any actual logical problems that can cause like segfold or something like that, something that can be ca caught by a compiler. Uh, What if bucket is null? This is actually a pretty good point, Function. Yes, this is a good point. Uh, what if it is null? So in that case, capacity also going to be zero. Well, at least this is what we expect. And we're never going to iterate here. But yeah, we never actually check that here as well. So this is what we probably have to check. And this is probably what happened. This is probably what happened with... Okay, so now... Thank you, thank you, Feng Chi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, that's exactly what happened. Uh, what we need to do here is essentially just check if buckets even a thing, right? So and that probably fixes the problem. Yeah, boy. All right. So let's try to compile that. And would you look at that? So in happened three times. The rest of them happened like one time. Uh, some of them happened two times, but they are two-time champion, and there we go, the like, work frequency based on the hash table. So actually functioning um, hash table. That's pretty cool. But insert does not check for collisions, uh, so we'll have to implement here as well. Mm, thank you, thank you, uh, Okay, okay. And that wasn't even that hard. I mean, it's pretty simple implementation. So There's nothing special. Um, yeah. So how are we going to check for collisions? So has value. <clears throat> and uh, buckets. 
Yeah, let me actually rename this uh, like hash of key to HK as well here because it's too long of a word. It doesn't make much sense to, to call it like that, right? HK. So just a little bit easier to digest the code. All right. <clears throat> So while this has value end, uh, okay, so buckets here could be also null, but that is checked by this code, because when it's when it's extended buckets, it's not going to be null anymore, so everything should be okay. Uh, so bucket has a value and buckets hk uh, key is not equal. Uh, to the original key. Mm -hmm. It has value and it's not equal. I think that's a good, I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, I think that should be okay. So uh, essentially, we can probably test that super quick, but let me just compile that and everything seems to be okay. Um, so hash map. So I'm gonna create a second main. I'm gonna create a second main. I'm gonna introduce a hash map for string view int. So it's just gonna be a map uh, and we're gonna defer destroy map like this. Um, but I don't even have to do that. I mean, the operating system will do that for us. Uh, and uh, I need a way to print the map. So the only way I can print the map or iterate over the map is just do something like this, which is not particularly convenient. Did I do void? God damn it. Uh, didn't even notice that. Didn't even notice that. Uh, okay, print ln. I mean, you also have to check that uh, map buckets I value has value if it does have value mm, void <laughs> you know what i'm thinking by the way what if instead of this we would have like a array of maybe buckets i don't know why i didn't think about that okay so i'm gonna actually put to do here uh to do Maybe it would be easier to to actually use. God damn it! I I, I just saw void. Um, all right. Uh, maybe uh, bucket buckets something like that. Uh, something like that. Uh, all right. Value has value, right? And this is what we want to print here. So it's going to be std out. Uh, and it's going to be key. Next. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, we definitely need to make it like that. Okay. All right. So, and now if I do map insert, uh 69 for 20 what's gonna happen and it's, it's not gonna work because that was not a string view this is not a string view okay cool so that worked and now if i try to insert 69 69 it got replaced okay so we do handle collisions in insert so insert acts like update um so everything seems to be working so, um, cool. Mm -hmm. And I wonder how we can assert that the result of this test is correct. Um, maybe we can dump this somewhere. Maybe we can dump, dump this somewhere. Let me try something like this. I'm gonna print something slightly different. Mm. Okay. 
std out and uh, this is how we're gonna do that it's gonna be word maybe it's gonna be just map insert uh, <laughs> uh, uh, then let's see so I'm, I'm gonna just generate the code right that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just simply generate the code uh, and this is gonna be simply like this unwrap uh-huh and then we're gonna put it like that and should be okay good. and also don't forget the semicolon so what I'm uh, doing here I'm just generating the code yeah so essentially now I'm gonna take this code uh, and I'm gonna do the following thing um, prepare prepare expected uh, expected uh, freq uh, yeah we're gonna put it here so it's gonna be like that uh, yeah. hash map string view int uh, map and uh, I think we should make it uh, we should take it by a pointer but we're gonna replace it with map map arrow there we go cool uh -huh. so we have a word frequency um let's rename it uh let's do it like that query replace word freck actual freck there we go so here's the actual freck uh this one is not needed okay actual freck uh-huh and then we can do something like hash map string view uh, expected freq expected uh, expected freq and of course we can also destroy that and after that we can uh, do prepare expected freq and as you can see expected freq will be filled with the expected values right it's going to be filled with expected values. So then uh, we uh, parse everything and fill up actual freq. And afterwards, we're going to iterate through all the buckets, buckets of the actual freq and compare the, their values with uh, the ones in the expected one. Uh, so that's going to be the idea. Uh, that's going to be the idea. So um, it has a value. Then we take expected freq. Uh, get um, uh, 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 key, right? So we get this key, and we're gonna get uh, like a value. Out of freq. First of all, if freq has no value, this is straight up um, this. Um, so that means we encountered an expected word uh, error. Uh, unexpected word and we can print that word uh, what was the word so this is the word uh, and I don't even have to do print I can just do panic right so it's gonna work like that so we have a special thing panic that w works like print uh, print LN, but it actually crashes the program with this error message all right and afterwards if freq uh, unwrap Freq unwrap not equal to uh, actual freq packets buckets uh, value unwrap. Uh, we need to complain about that. It's going to be yet another panic error. Uh, unexpected frequen frequency of word. Uh, and what's going to be the word actually? So the word is. I might as well do something like auto word, like this. And every time I refer to this thing, every time I refer to this one, I'm going to say word. Uh huh. Word. Uh, so, um, expect it. This. Mm, actual this 
there we go. So, um, yeah, pretty much. Pretty, pretty much. Um, so, word. Expected frequency. Uh huh, uh huh. Auto expected. Freck unwrap. Uh huh, there's only two of them. Uh, expected. Uh huh. Actual. So the actual is kind of. Uh huh. There we go. All right. And um, Actul. I'm not talking about Actul. I'm talking about actual. Uh, Alright, let's try to run it. And uh, expect it. There's no comparison between pointer and integer. Oh shit! Okay. So I have to unwrap it like this then. There we go, everything went okay. So, and uh, we also want to print something. Uh, print a LAN STD out. Uh, ch um, checking uh, actual. Like this. Check in actual like this, and what the fuck is this? Uh, we have to check word. What the fuck are you even doing, dude? Not word. Yeah. Okay, that's that's cool. Maybe we don't even have to do checking. So. Uh, yep. Cool. So if we alter one of the expected things here, uh, for example. Instead of this being 1, I'm going to put 69. Uh, it's going to say un uh, unexpected frequency over uh, do is expected 69, but actual uh, 1. And this is exactly what happened. So now we have like a reliable test. Uh, and we can try to introduce like... Um, well, to be fair, it doesn't check for uh, never existed words or something, but that's okay. I think that's okay. Uh, we can introduce a new word, word hello here. Uh, and it will probably complain, yeah, yeah, because that one was uh, with dot. Yeah, yeah, unexpected word hello, so it actually checks everything. So if something goes wrong with the hash table, we'll probably notice it with this test, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, I think the hash table is ready, boys and girls. The hash table is ready and it's working. We have a special test for it. And uh, let's celebrate that and... Uh, Suck some tea. Um, you guys ready for a tea ASMR? So because I have a tea brewing here, it's probably actually oversteeped. I'm not sure if it's oversteeped, but I'm gonna try to pour it anyway. So, uh, yeah. Cool. Mm, French press, yes, I'm brewing tea in the French press. All right, so the time has come to release the AIDS. Are you guys ready to release the AIDS? Uh, two, 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 two. Okay. So what if we, what we introduced here? Um, mm -hmm -hmm. So it's gonna be version 27, right? This is a version 27. Uh, 0, 27, uh, 0, and we introduced struct hash map. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Evan Ho. Thank you <laughs> for 10 bits. Uh, yeah, it's an uh, 8 release. That sounds weird, but okay. Uh, yeah. Also, I need to git ignore the executable. So map uh, hash map test. But now we have our own hash map. This is so cool. This is absolutely cool. All right. Uh, this is absolutely cool. And let's do the following thing. 0, 27, 0. Uh, release. Struct hash map. And the uh, 27th uh, minor version of 8 has been officially released. So you can check out uh, well, yeah, yeah. You, you can check it out here. So it's available uh, for the general public. So, and we're gonna finally use it in uh, our application. That's right. We're gonna finally use it in our application. 
Um, i3 in 2020. Yeah. I personally use i5 right now. So yeah, I don't understand people who still use i3. Uh, so, um, let's go to Vodus. So what kind of problem did we have in Vodus? It was actually a pretty interesting problem. And by the way, uh, for those who doesn't know, Vodus is uh, the thing that we're developing today. We implemented a hash table specifically for Vodus, right? We implemented it specifically for Vodus. And this is because uh, we need to use it for emote cache, right? Emote cache basically associates the name of the emote with its image. And we use a pretty happy and crappy uh, and crappy implementation of the hash table there. So, and I decided to sort of extract it and uh, put it to a st uh, my standard library. And now we have to do the opposite uh, thing. We need to take this hash ma uh, map that implemented and integrate it back into the source code. All right, let's quickly try to do that. So, uh, so we even have a special issue for that, I think. We even have a special issue. Yeah, uh, so 157, that will uh, fix the bug. Bye bye, old man. See you. See you around. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, so, yeah, let's integrate everything. Bye bye. Um, whole source code is one file. Yeah, it's a, it's a header library. So, it's, it's the whole library in a single header. Mm. Um, so what's going to be that? Emote. Uh, yeah, the first thing we need to do, uh, by the way, is we need to upgrade the aids, right? Because we recently released new aids and the time has come to upgrade them. Uh, let's actually replace them. Mm, and... Oh, we, we, we were using pretty old aids, 23rd one. So it's actually like four releases. Nice. Uh, and I use this library in a majority of my C++ projects. So that's why it's so big. It contains a lot of different things because some of these things are needed in all of my projects. New aid in aids array. Yeah. Uh, all right. 157, upgrade aids is going to be 0.230 to 0.270. There we go. And I'm going to push that right into the repo. I'm going to push that right into the repo. So many eights. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, next. Um, in the emote, uh, in the Vodus emote. So we have emote mapping. Uh, and also emote gifs capacity. So when we're accessing gifs, do we? Yeah, we're not really doing anything special, and we're just iterating. We're just uh, appending them. We're just appending them. Okay. So and what is emote mapping? What is emote mapping? Uh, it has to be a structure. Oh shit! I forgot a very important thing. I forgot to uh, like in aids. I forgot to fix my to-do. God damn it. Um, all right. So that's actually... Ah, oh, shit. And I released everything. I wanted to make this like a maybe buckets instead of uh, keeping maybe inside of a value. God fucking damn it. And I already released everything. If I change something, it's going to be backward incompatible change. Ah. And release it. Well, I cannot unrelease it, unfortunately, but it's going to be backward incompatible change anyway. Anyway, let's actually give it a try and uh, see how many uh, just force push. <laughs> you guys are so funny. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah. Mm, I think you forgot to update size in insert. What? Size in insert? Oh shit, yeah, that's true. Um, okay, so this hash table is completely fucked, <laughs> not gonna lie, one day patch, yeah, so, ah, oh, shit, this is a completely failed release, seriously, 
This is a completely failed release, I'm not gonna lie. Mm, all right, so let's actually see. Uh, when I do insert, yeah, we have to also upgrade the size. Completely forgot about that. Mm -hmm. If you want to implement removal, you'll need to, uh, tombstone to. Yeah, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Low test coverage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, let's do a compiler assisted refactoring and just go through all of this shit. So now, this is not how we do that. Um, so we just check whether it has value. Uh, Alright. And every time we try to access that, we have to unwrap, uh, unwrap in here and unwrap in here. So that should work. Uh huh. As value, unwrap. Uh huh. Uh... Oh yeah, this one is interesting. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Unwrap. And it's going to be buckets HK uh, has value will become true. Yeah. So this is how we're going to approach that. Uh, and this doesn't have to be like that. Okay. Yeah. Has value. Unwrap. Has value. Unwrap. Uh huh. Unwrap value. Aha. Uh -huh. So this time this one has to be actually. Yeah, we need to take a size, not of the bucket, but maybe bucket. But do not worry about that. I'm gonna do something like buckets, and I'm gonna dereference it. So uh, no matter what type is gonna be, uh, it's gonna take the the correct size, and then we'll have to do something like this, I suppose. Which is not ideal, but uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, okay, so what, what is it talking about here? What is it talking about here? I'm not quite sure. Oh, yeah, it talk, it's talking about the similar thing. Uh, buckets. Uh, and then maybe... Well, at least here we can get like a type error. Uh, this is just a has value. It's going to be unwrap. This is going to be unwrap key. Uh, and it, it seems to be working. Okay, everything seems to be working. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, I suppose we're gonna also uh, we're gonna also mm -mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. if I got update the the tests. Uh, we also need to update the tests. So essentially, after the tests, I want to compare compare the sizes of uh, of these things, right? So if actual frequency size not equal to uh, expected frequency size. Uh, all right, we're gonna do std out uh, error. It's actually in print land, it's panic. Hello, patata, welcome to the stream. Uh, an expected size of hash map. Uh, expected expected size right actual actual is here there we go here's the actual size and maybe i can split things like that so it's a little bit easier to read something like this you know looks good uh, and uh excuse me uh Oh, I forgot the semi uh, a comma here. Mm. What is wrong with 27? Everything, everything is wrong. We need to rewrite everything from scratch. All right, so if I actually change, for example, something like this, right? So I'm gonna do it like that and unexpected. Well, that, that makes sense. Uh, we can introduce uh est but that will also fuck up everything yeah so how can can we make it fail how can we make it fail i might as well just try something like 
uh, expected plus one just to see how it's gonna fail yeah, yeah, yeah so it does fail everything's okay i just wanted to see the error message just wanted to see the error message okay so uh maybe let's pretend that release never existed so that release was so quick um Right, we can pretend that it never existed and we're gonna release right away 028. I think that's gonna be that's gonna be okay. So yeah. God damn it. Alright. Um, um day uh one patch 0270 never happened. Okay, I'm gonna push that. Uh, wait, wait, wait! I'm not gonna push that yet. Uh, yeah. Zero twenty-seven zero. Never happened. There we go. There we go. So here's the patch. Uh, cool. So hopefully not everybody got dependent on that. Mm. So, <clears throat> so this is how we're gonna approach that. So 27 never happened, let's forget about it. Uh, yeah, that's how we do software development. <laughs> Uh, let's upgrade. Uh, 157, not an AIDS upgrade. Uh, 027, never happened. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, cool. So um, let's go ahead and tr start using it. Um, so we have a mode mapping, which is essentially this. All right, it has a name. Uh, let's keep calling it a mode mapping, but I'm not sure how useful it would be. Um, so. Um, this is how we're gonna approach that emote mapping. It's gonna be hash map, and we're mapping a name to emote mapping. That's what we're doing here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Emote map emote mapping count is gonna be like this, and gifs is very interesting. Actually, gifs is very interesting. So if I take a look at the gifs, gif animat. Uh, right, it also stores the animat, and if I take a look at what inside of the animat, it's a pointer. All right, so that means I can easily move it around. So here, instead of this, I'm going to use dynamic array. So we're going to have a dynamic array of gifs. So everything becomes dynamic now, and we don't need a count here. Yeah, there we go. So now we have shmap, hash map, and dynamic array. I'm still confused about namespace A's versus in, in namespace SD. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Uh, don't even think about it. A's is my own library. It's just my own library that implemented from scratch. Don't think about it. Don't like forget about it. It's just it's it's a joke. It's it's literally a joke, and it's not needed for you to learn programming. Yeah, it's literally a joke. It's not existing thing. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I know that you're learning programming, so don't, don't worry about it. Um, <clears throat> all right. So, uh, make minus B, what is the bugs? <clears throat> Ace is a namespace, but I created it myself. It's not a standard or anything. I just created this this namespace because I wanted to. Um, that's pretty much the point. Get emote uh, by name. Okay. Uh huh. 
Oh, this one is interesting. So I think we can replace this entire code with actually way simpler code. Right? You can do emote mapping, take emote mapping, and then you get, right, and you provide the name. Right, you provide the name. And that gives you uh, a mapping. Uh, and if, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if mapping, Mm, has a value we have to do things right we have to do things um, so we're gonna do mapping uh, mapping unwrap and inside of mapping we should have something like emote right emote and if emote doesn't have a value if this particular thing doesn't have a value We'll have to assign that value there. I mean, we have to lazily load emote. So this is kind of the point. Uh, our application doesn't load all of the emotes right away. It loads them lazily, right? It loads them lazily. Um, afterwards, if... Pog boy subscribe to tier one. Thank you. Thank you so much for tier one subscription. Uh, your first subscription, by the way, and welcome to our epic C++ club. How that? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, essentially, uh, the challenges that I'm pursuing, right, the challenge that I'm pursuing is to not use the STD namespace at all. Uh, and only use whatever comes uh, from C, right? Because you can use C standard library in C++, you can do that. So I only use C standard library and I'm not using what C++ added. And I add my own stuff on top of C and that stuff is called AIDS. So yeah, it's not uh, explained in any book, in any article, it's just a thing that I created myself, it's a joke. So don't take it too serious, um, yeah. But at the same time, it's it's kind of a kind of a fun challenge, to be fair. Um, mm, mm, mm. So mapping. Uh, then we have to take the emote. Uh, we have to unwrap, take the emote, and the type of the emote is gif, right? We'll have to take gifs and push the gif there. All right, so this one is interesting. I don't remember how to use dynamic arrays in my own library because my own library has 1000 lines of code. Mm. So dynamic array. And yeah, by the way, this library is 1000 lines of code. Yes, and it's a joke. Yes, I have no lab. So, um, so then I take a moat, unwrap. I don't think I need to unwrap it. I, I can just do gif then. There we go. That should be all right. So I just check that it exists and uh -huh, afterwards like this. So it's that, it's that. And then I just want to return the emote. Mapping mm, and wrap emote, but otherwise we're gonna return nothing. Okay, so we simplified the entire logic, I think. So we have emote mapping with the hash map. Uh, we get it by name. If it has sub something, we look into it and we check whether we have emote there. If we don't have an emote there, we load it from the file, from the provided file. Actually, we have to do it something like. Uh, mapping and wrap file path. I think this is how it has to be done. Um, then, if the type of unwrapped one became that, we just push it to gifs and then we return one. Okay, so that should be okay. That should be okay. Let's continue compiling things. Uh, all right, request uh, for a member emote uh, and wrap, which is a pointer emote mapping. Uh, is it really a pointer? I don't think it's a pointer, but that's kind of weird. Uh, where's the structure definition of emote mapping? It's not a pointer, I don't understand. Alright, 
so I think I'm missing something. I think I'm missing something. So mapping is a pointer to remote mapping. Ah, uh, yes, it's a pointer to remote mapping. It's a okay. I see. I see. So that means in this entire thing, I have to do something like unwrap dot to unwrap this. Thank you, C plus plus. Very cool. Okay. Uh huh. Maybe emote doesn't have a type. Okay, so I can also unwrap this thing then. Anything else? Uh, emote unwrap. I have to unwrap too many things. Maybe I can simplify. Okay, finally, we, we get we get out of that function. Finally, that's cool. So uh, now I'm iterating through all of the gifs, but we don't get have gifs count. Uh, so in a dynamic array, we do have size, so we can do size, uh, and in gifs, data, like this. So that should be all right, I think. Yeah. Let's see if it's going to work. Okay, cool, we got out of that. Now, uh, we're populating the hash map. We're populating the hash map. We don't have to worry about the count anymore here. This does not matter. Uh, now we also have emote mapping here. All right, I can create something like emote mapping. Uh, I'm new to all this. What's going on? We're programming in C++, buddy. We're programming in C++. Welcome to our epic C++. Buddy. So, and after that, uh, let's actually call it just mapping. All right, and uh, we're going to do emote mapping, insert, the name is going to be key, and the mapping itself is going to be the value. So this is how we're going to populate all of that. And we don't even need this shit anymore, right? So essentially, we just uh, read the line, and we just added this thing there. Simple as that. Simple as that. So that simplifies everything, and I wonder if it's going to compile. I think it's going to fucking compile. Wait a Refresh the page, chat, refresh the page, refresh the page. It was a temporarily fucky wacky. And what's funny is that, as you can see, I saw all of the Fs. I saw all of the Fs. That means it was not my fault. It was not my fault because internet didn't go down. Otherwise, I wouldn't see Fs. Yep, yep. It's not my fault. Twitch, Twitch, it's not my fault. What are you doing? Uh, I don't know. So, uh, okay, okay. By the way, everything's compiling, so I just like replaced whatever the shit I had with my uh, hash uh, hash table, and it compiles. Uh, it compiles, um, and everything's okay. Uh, let's see if it's gonna work or not. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Uh, so hopefully it's not gonna crash on me. Uh, okay. So I'm going to rebuild everything just in case I want to rebuild uh, release as well. Um, I spent two hours implementing a hash table. But I mean, I also uh, was explaining it uh, and uh, I was, you know, uh, commenting on what I'm doing and stuff like that. So, I mean, yeah. Function knows what I'm talking about. Function knows what I'm talking about. He recently experienced the, the power of streaming and productivity. Mm. Um, so yeah, and by, by the way, I'm developing in, the, in that mode pretty much three or four years, so yeah. Um, I do understand your frustration, but uh, over time, you can uh, like after some practice, you kind of get used to that. All right, so uh, everything seems to be working, and let's try to render, and well, let's see if it's gonna work. Did it become slower? Maybe not. Maybe it in fact became slower. 13 seconds. All right, let's take a look at the final results. And it didn't work. Nice. It didn't a fucking work. I'm so happy. So it literally didn't find anything. That's probably what happened. Mm -mm. So I said this thing, 
to the mapping. Mm. Slow it on purpose so we can solve it in the next Hertha Ha ha ha. Very funny. Very funny. Ah. Mm. Okay, let's take a look at what we have there. Uh, so let's try to explore. So where do we have populate function, populate file path? Uh, you know what? I think we can. Um, we can just break on that function, why not? So it's gonna be uh, cut, make file, gdb, vodus debugus. Uh, and let me grab the uh, the things here. I'm gonna run it. Um, first, we have to break on populate from file. Uh, yep. And uh, let's just run it. See what's gonna happen. To enable. So uh, okay. So we read the file. So if I take a look at the mapping CSV, I, I don't know why, but I just want to see it. Uh, it does contain the file. Everything's okay. So can I also print emote mapping? Mm, what is emote mapping? Okay, it's an empty hash table. Everything's okay. Uh, now, okay, so we have. Uh, yeah, let's actually step a little bit further. And this is our first insertion. If I print emote mapping after the first insertion, uh, okay, so we do have buckets, buckets, and uh, size one. Okay, so that means if I keep inserting things into this thing, uh, right, I, I might as well actually display it, so it's going to be displayed every time. So now we have two, so three, and so on and so forth. So we actually in insert in everything. We actually insert in everything. Okay, so you, I want to break another function here. Um, let me see. Emote by name. Emote by name uh, this one and let's continue and hopefully we're gonna break there okay cool so what emote we're trying to request uh, we're trying to request emote uh, to is oh I see okay so it actually tries to request emote on each individual word so that's okay actually it treats each individual word as um, as a potential emote and it just looks up uh, all of that in the table. So if I look at that, it should be not a non-existing one. Okay, so if I display uh, name, eventually we can reach the uh, one of the emotes and we're looking for way to dank specifically. All right, I'm gonna keep continuing. Uh, right, so as you can see, we get advanced uh, more and more. So uh, I just realized that why are we looking up? Why are we keep looking up so many times? What the fuck? Is a flying seriously? Why are we keep looking it up? I don't understand. Like this is so strange. Um, emote by name. We only call it once here. Right, we, we do it here, but I mean, we advance every time. Right, we advance every time to the next word because we, we take the next word. But why is it stack on the same word like so many times? Uh, so it's just stuck. Um, I don't understand. Like maybe it has something to do with how many times we render is this? This is so weird. Like, I... Excuse me? Okay, so what if we break, like, somewhere here? Vodus messages CPP 55. All right, break. Vodus uh, messages CPP 55. So what's going on there? Uh, all right, so if I take a look at the word, it is still the same word. It is still the same word. Okay. 
And if I display that word, let, let me actually display that word. Yeah, it's just stuck on the same thing. It's just stuck. Okay, and when I'm rendering a particular... So this is a single message. This is a single message. And it cannot get advanced at all. Alright, so uh, let's step through. Uh -huh. As a mode, we slap the this thing. Okay. Oh, I see what's going on. Well, we, we need to render it like on each frame anyway, right? We need to render it on each frame anyway. Um, okay, so uh, I would like to stop when name is one of the modes, like way too dank, like, uh, right, way too dank. Uh, can we have something like that? Um, so let's actually start over. Uh, and I want to break on here, right? Uh, Vodus emotes, Vodus emotes, CPP. The line is going to be 170. If, um, so what's the size of the way to dang? So the size of way to dang is 10 characters. Okay, let's say so that, uh, if name size equal 10. I wonder if it's gonna work or not, we'll see. So uh, the, the GDB didn't complain. Uh, let's do run. Uh, this is not what I wanted, but can I just do run? And I have to go to my make files, uh, render, then here I have to get these things and let's just see. Okay, if I enable Tui, and if I take a look at the name, it worked, but it didn't... Okay, so size was not equal... Yeah, because it, it, size doesn't exist, because it's called count, and uh, GDB doesn't care. So if you make a mistake, like I called... Uh, I referenced to size instead of count, and GDB didn't even tell me that this kind of thing doesn't exist. Well, cool. Thank you so much. So, uh, break on uh, I have to do that one more time uh, on Vodus messages Vodus messages CPP 170 170 if uh, name count name count equal 10 so uh, will it work now Emotes. Okay, it worked. It finally worked. Uh, so, if not... What? On 72? Yes, thank you. Thank you to a step. All right, so it was as damn as I expected it. Yes, yes, thank you so much. That, that was it. That's why it was so slow as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, so let's actually uh, see if it if it actually fixes anything. And... Mm. I think it's slower. I think it became slower. I wonder why. And uh... cool. All right, you got a VIP. Uh... There we go. Thank you so much. Uh, yep, it was as, as dumb as I thought it was. Uh, all right, now, uh, now, 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 uh, we don't update GIFs for some reason. GIFs are not properly updated, and I wonder why. I wonder why. Uh, so in the original thing, in the original situation, what did we have? 
we have pointers to gifts. Okay, so that makes sense. We have point we had pointers of them, right? So that's why it worked out. And if I'm pushing this thing, I actually want to take a pointer with. Oh shit! This is bad. This is, but maybe it's not that as bad as I think it will be. Mm. Because it's sort of like a. Uh, member. Okay. Yeah. So this is actually pretty dangerous. But yeah, we'll have to document that. So I think now it should work. I think now it should work. Mm. So let's take a look at the result. And yes, it works now. Cool. That is a pretty get them a cool. Uh, but we lost a lot of people while debugging. Right. It's kind of funny, like every time you hit a problem and you need to debug, the, the viewership just fucking drops because nah, this guy doesn't know how to program. He has bugs and need to debug. Fuck that. Um so. Uh, how does ev everyone know which lines to look at, or do you scan all them already fast? I have no idea. Um, so here's an interesting thing. Uh, here's the interesting thing. This is kind of dangerous, right? Because the pointer to this GIF can be invalidated, right? The pointer to this GIF can be invalidated. Uh huh. When hash table resizes, but it doesn't happen because hash table doesn't resize after all of the mappings have has loaded up. So yeah, that's why it works. So, but it's quite important to keep that in mind. It's quite important to keep that in mind. So I'll probably have to document that somehow. Uh, storing. Uh, storing the pointer to a bucket in the hash map uh, is dangerous because it could be invalidated. Invalidated. Right. When you insert into the hash map, uh, the only uh, the only reason this works is that um, we don't touch, we don't insert into the hash map after populate uh, from file. All right, so let's actually put this note here. This is quite important. This is quite imp important of a note. And here is an interesting thing. So I think it actually slowed down the process. I think it kind of did. Uh, and I wonder why. I wonder why. So I'm going to uh, stash everything here. I'm going to stash everything here. And uh, I'm going to try to render it one more time and see how much time it will take to render a single video without hash uh, table. Is hash table part of A's now? Yes we made it part of the eights on today's stream welcome katison by the way uh well it took 11 seconds but uh with this thing uh, how much time it will take um for some reason it takes more time but, but we'll see mm. Yeah, it definitely takes more time. Like it feel, it even feels like it takes more time. Ah, uh, not that much to be fair. Like 11, 12 plus, I'm streaming, so I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's that bad. So, yeah. What do you guys think? 
think it's okay. Mm. Hash map string comparisons cause slow down maybe, but we did the same thing in the previous version, didn't we? Uh, let me see, let me see. When I, okay, so emote by name. Uh, yeah, well, we did the same thing. Uh, we did the same thing. So we also did uh, string comparisons and stuff. The heck, this check is done on this. Oh, okay. So you're not telling me that. Uh, uh, you, you're talking to somebody else. All right. So I guess that's okay. Um, um, use aids containers for emote cache. Right. For emote cache. And let's push that right into the repo. How about that? How about that? How about that? Mm -hmm. Cool. So, um, yeah, maybe I want to also check the release mode. Why not? So let's do make uh, render release and see what's going to happen. Also rebuild everything in release. So release building will be a little bit slower, um, but the rendering should be faster. The rendering should be definitely faster. <laughs> Just waiting for the build. Mm. Yes, I'm chaining. Well, I mean, I'm using open addressing. So there are two ways to handle that. Uh, okay, so it took six seconds, which is nice. Okay, cool, nice. So, and let's create a pull request. <clears throat> Maybe we need to have like a better hash function or something. All right, so, um, Use eight containers for emote cache. So that should solve this problem that we were working on. Uh, which is more, uh, more Haskell. Check out my FAQ, please. There is a question about that. There is a question about my favorite programming language there. So, yeah. All right. Suppose we're waiting for continuous integration. So that was kind of fun. Implementing a hash table for uh, for AIDS was kind of fun. Mm. So what's going to be the next issue that we'll have to work on? Mm. This one is pretty much done. Emote downloader should download and set up the Twitch emoji pack. Yeah. That would be cool <laughs> if it did that. That would be very cool if it did that. So, uh, but I don't know. Um, I kind of started a little bit later today and my sleeping cycle is kicking in so unfortunately boys and girls I'm already tired <laughs> so <laughs> yeah I guess today is going to be super short stream but uh, today was a very interesting stream because we were working on a hash table and stuff like that so yeah unfortunately boys and girls it is time for me to go thanks everyone who's watching right now I really appreciate that. Uh, have a good one, and I see you all um, actually on Friday. The next stream is going to be a Friday because the tomorrow is a day off, right? So uh, check out our schedule page for more information on different projects we're working on throughout the week. Um, also check out our VODs YouTube channel. We archive all of the streams there. Uh, this stream is also going to be there, but tomorrow we upload them on the next day. And also check out our Discord server for offline discussion with the community.
And yeah, thanks everyone for watching and I see you all tomorrow. Love you all. Mwah.